I'm Judith Fugate, and I'm here staging George Balanchine's Coppelia for the Dresden Company. And uh, unlike most story ballets, my first experience with Coppelia was when I was already a, a professional in the company. I was probably just one year in the company, and I was chosen to be one of Swanilda's friends in the production, so that was pretty exciting. Um, and I even got to be the special one that finds the key that enters into Dr. Coppelius' workshop, um, without which she wouldn't have the rest of the story. So that was pretty, pretty fun, as, especially being just one year in the ballet company. And I, the best part of it was I got to work directly with Mr. Balanchine and Alexandra Danilova on the production when they were creating it from, from scratch. So it was uh, pretty special as far as that's concerned because they, uh, she would teach at the ballet school and he would teach with the company. And even though they had been colleagues together many years before, they never really worked in the studio together except if he would come to watch a class. But this was a very unique situation and it was great fun and educational for all of us. I danced with the New York City Ballet for 23 years, going from corps de ballet to what we call soloists in the state and then to principal. Um, I trained at the School of American Ballet before that for nine years before being invited by Mr. V to uh, perform with the company. I stage a lot of Balanchine ballets, um, including Serenade, Concerto Barocco, Who Cares, Apollo, um, Theme and Variations, um, off the top of my head, some other smaller pieces as well. And I also work for the um, Jerome Robbins Trust, uh, staging several of his ballets as well. Um, so I'm lucky to be able to stage all these ballets with two very, from two very important men and artists in my life that really inspired me as a dancer. Mr. Balanchine was really funny. And he, but he was also very, Americanized. He loved everything American. He would tell us what television shows he was watching the night before, which movie he went to see. He loved um, Star Wars. And just, he, he was very funny and he was also incredibly generous to all of his dancers, uh, taking the most of what they had to offer and using it to the, the best abilities. And we all considered him rather like a father figure in all the healthy senses of the word. And um, I was really lucky to have grown up with him. I knew him from the time I was eight years old until he passed away and worked with him on, as Clara in the Nutcracker. So I really did grow up with him. And uh, he, was, he was a very, he was funny and you should have seen him do some of the um, pantomime was hysterical. I love my work because it introduces me to a whole new generation of dancers that to me, are just as hungry and eager to learn and improve as I remember I was as a young dancer. And it's also um, a little bit selfish for me to be able to have my memories of my work with Mr. Balanchine to be able to share with dancers that didn't have the um, opportunity or the luxury to work with, with a man like that. So I get to share memories with them and, and hopefully a little bit of expertise as well. So I'm very thrilled with the company. I think, I think we're going to have a really good production of Coppelia and more than one soloist lead principles. So that's pretty amazing. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's important to know that this is a really fun ballet. It's hysterically funny and silly in many moments, but intentionally so. And it's, it's not your typical boring, slow story ballet. It has a lot more dancing to it than most versions that people may have seen. It's a lot livelier, it moves quicker. There's even sections in act three that are not normally there with the music and the dancing. So I think it's important to know that it's, it's really a fun ballet for the dancers as well as for the audience. And I think it's also important to realize that this production has not been seen in Europe in 30 years. It's, Dresden is only the second company in Europe to have performed this production, so that's sort of a pretty special place to be.